Hey everybody, I wanted to do a Geiger counter video with you today. Today I am on my way to the hospital. I'm going to get a small dose of radioactive iodine for a whole body scan I have coming up on Friday. And I did this last year. I did the small dose and then I did a large dose um, that is actually used to kill the cancer cells. And I used this Geiger counter last year and I got completely freaked out at the numbers. They were so high and I just thought it was actually though very interesting and I thought I'd share it with you this year since I'm a lot more calm. Just a simple Geiger counter I got from Amazon and it may not be right on track but it definitely gives you some idea. So this is me before. This is before any treatment, and I guess my last treatment was a year ago. And if I remember correctly, as soon as I got the large dose for the treatment, this, this counter would not even turn on. Um, and I believe it was up to maybe 55,000 CPMs. So today, I've actually already done it once this morning. Let's see if we can get a better look. We're at 17 right now. I believe I'm 20. So just on a normal day. It's less out here. Maybe my room's a little radioactive. Um, we're stuck at 17 right now, but I believe just depending on the day, it can range between 18 and 25. So it's slowly, I bet if I left it on a little bit longer, it might get up to about 24, 25. But this is my Geiger counter reading before any treatment. And I'm about to go in and uh, we'll come back out and try it again and, and see what the new number is. I just took my dose for the scan. Again, this was only three millicuries. Um, if you're having radioactive iodine for an actual treatment, not just a scan, I think it can be as high as 200. I want to say like an average is, is around 100. But again, I just had three today. I'm gonna turn on my Geiger counter. Oh yeah, I can already hear it. It's beeping a lot more than this morning. And we're already in the red. Ooh. So here we go. You can follow along with me. Alright, it looks like it is hovering around 3,900. Ooh. Around 4,000. Which seems really high considering I was 17 this morning but after my dose last summer I believe the first time I turned on it wouldn't even turn on to begin with but then I believe one of my first numbers was 57,000 so I'm still going up I guess I'm getting a little more radioactive maybe it's hitting my body a little more but this is about five minutes after I took the pill and it actually is still going up all right so I'll check in in about an hour we'll see what the numbers do again this is for a whole body scan this is to check to see if I still have thyroid cancer in my thyroid cells oh there we go five thousand All right, I am back. It has been about 20 minutes since I took my dose of the I-131. And I've got my Geiger counter here. I just turned this back on. It is definitely jumping up a lot higher. The medicine's had about 20 minutes to get in my system. And let's see how high I get.
I'll check back in. I may wait about an hour or two for my next reading, but it's pretty interesting. I am up to 10,000, a lot higher than my 17 this morning. This is one hour and a half, one and a half hours after my dose. It has been about six hours since my tracer dose. And I wanted to show you one more thing with this Geiger counter. And this will show you why it's so important to have the six foot radius, especially when you have a higher dose. So I'm gonna put that here. You can tell I'm walking away, it's already going down. Let's see if I can keep zooming in on the number. But here I am a few feet away. It's grainy because I'm zooming in, but you can see the number is just falling. I'm going to take one more, uh, maybe two more steps back. Here I am zoomed out so you can see how far back I am. So let's zoom into the number. You can see it. It's back to 1600. Looks like I'm going to go down to 1000. Probably. If not more. I'm going to pause this while it keeps going down. I'm going to stay, again, I'm around six feet away from the Geiger counter. And this just goes to show you how important it is to keep your distance from someone when you've had this dose of, radiation, of radioactive iodine. So it can keep going down, but I'll save you some time. I'm going to walk forward and show you how fast I am just how far away I am. I'm gonna start walking forward, getting a little closer. I've gotten down to 200. Now, let me zoom back out. Pick it up. Now it's going crazy going back up again. So, that's just to show you how important it is to keep that six foot radius. If you do have a radioactive iodine treatment, the closer you are, you're basically. From what I understand, I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor or a science major, but you're basically a walking X ray machine. So, you, again, you just want to keep that distance. Because now here I am and the numbers are climbing. It is interesting. Last year I was too freaked out and scared to kind of play around with it. But this year, I'll start walking backwards. This year, I know what I'm in for. And I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun. <laughs>